923 now. Hey, it's uh, Ty Bentley from 923 with Austin Mahome. Mahome, me. What's up? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you? So, you're next. Like, you I'm know next. it, right? Do you feel that pressure? You watch Bieber doing all this stuff and antics and things like that, and you go, well, I'm just going to check off a box of things I should watch out for. <laughs> nah, man. I'm just, uh, I'm just having fun with everything. You know, I like to travel. And I like to, you know, play music, so... I'm just living life, man. It is cool. You got you got your start uh, kind of the the way that I think is really important these days to musicians because it gives people who have talent but don't have maybe uh, the resources or, or the opportunities the chance to get those, and that's through YouTube, right? Exactly. I feel like this generation is all about like social media and like YouTube and Twitter and Facebook. So I think it's cool that like you know people can put their stuff online and you know get noticed and all that. So do you encourage people to do that when they come to you and they say, "Hey, I'd love to be in the music industry. What can I do?" Definitely. They like a lot of people ask me, you know, like I, I want to sing, I want to do this. Like, what what advice do you have? And I would say just you know put yourself on YouTube and you know don't be afraid to put yourself out there. What made you uh, go with? I think the first song I saw from you, and maybe I'm wrong. Was it Mistletoe? No, that was that was way after. That was like, uh, but that was maybe the one that like was a big break. Right? Yeah, that one, and there was a um, an Adele song that I did. It was like um, kind of like in that era when I started to get a lot of like millions of views like every week, and uh, that's when like people would like notice me, and that's when I got signed and all that. So, well, what I think is cool, you're 17 right now, right? Mm -hmm. And you somehow found that niche of the music that you thought really pertained to you, or that you felt connected to in some way. How do you feel? Uh, that you obtained that? Like, how did you recognize what songs really work with you? Um, I mean, I, like, still now, I'm still experimenting with different sounds. And um, I feel like I want, like, I want to make music that is, like, hot right now that people are into that, you know, people are going to want to listen to and look on YouTube for. So, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just doing what's hot right now. So. Well, and for instance, you're working with Pitbull now. Yeah. You got, mm, yeah. Um, yes. And how was that experience? It was cool. Pitbull's amazing. He's uh, like one of the nicest guys. Yeah. Um, you know, he he always you know brings like another element to a song. So I mean, I thought it was really cool that you know he got on my song. He's, he's totally chill. He's such a yeah. weird. I, I would like. Uh, I've been in radio for a minute, so I remember the first times I'd hang with Pitbull. It was like at a concert in Austin, Texas, and mm -hmm. he was he was crazy. Like back in the day, he was just a wild like man. His energy's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, and then he like started putting on more suits and like being real poised and then you get him on a music video set or you get him in a studio yeah. and that artistic mind still comes alive yeah he's he's great he's what really are good. what are like some of the cool moments you've had so far as, as your music career moves forward and you're like wow i can't believe this just happened um i would probably say um a lot of stuff last year um 2013 was amazing i would say probably getting to go to the white house and perform on easter yeah and uh that, that was cool and then when i went to the vmas and i, I won my first vma that was amazing basically. where do you put that um i have um, a shelf that I built in my bathroom. In your bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just, uh, I got five minutes, I'm going to look at this. <laughs> exactly. All right. Um, well, in yesterday, I thought this might come up too for you. The Super Bowl is going on around uh, the tri-state, really. Yeah. New Jersey claims it because the game's over there. Uh, New York claims it because we shut down Times Square, and I was out yesterday on Broadway. I don't know if mm -hmm. you've seen all that craziness yeah, I yet. Saw it, yeah. Well, But you performed in nice. Bryant Park yesterday. Yes, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Um, I did that for Aquafina's Flavor Splash. And um, that, that was a cool performance. It was actually yesterday I performed, yeah, for the first time live. So that was, that was right here sweet. in New York. Yep, right oh, here in New York. Fun, man. And yeah. are you going to do it again tomorrow morning? Yeah. yeah. On Good Morning America, yep. right? Mm -hmm. How does that feel when you know you're going live on TV? It's, it's cool. I mean, I feel like it's, uh, it's real and it's a lot of fun. Is it more nerve wracking than just doing a show in front of fans you can see? And like, if because I feel like if you screw up in front of fans, you can go like, whoops, stupid, right? Don't YouTube that. But you're on Good Morning America. If something mm -hmm. goes wrong, does that, I mean, does that come to play, or are you just kind of like, I can't wait, it's going to be fun? Yeah, no, it's going to be a lot of fun. Like, you know, I don't really think about that stuff. I just think about, you know, the fans and how, how much fun it's going to be. As an artist, did you ever think to yourself, this is a venue I'd eventually like to get to? Uh, is there something in your mind that would be just the pinnacle performance? Mm, definitely, I feel like every musician, you know, has that dream of selling out Madison Square Garden. That's, yeah. you know, one of the biggest venues. So, um, I mean, that, that, that would be really cool, definitely. And then maybe the the Osu Arena in London. Sure. Yeah. Uh, what you do? You, what do you do for downtime? Do you get it anymore? Um, yeah, I like to uh, hang out with my friends, and I like to uh, swim and play basketball and go to the movies. So you just go back to Miami yeah. and relax for a few days. I actually, moved them from Texas to Miami to live with me. So your friends? Yeah. Who are they? Name them. Say hi. I just want to see Rob and Zach. What's up, guys? And they all live like in your place. Yeah. My room better be clean when I get back. <laughs> <laughs> they do your chores and stuff. You're like, look, guys, I'll pay for dinner, but I'm going to need you guys <laughs> exactly. to vacuum. Um, what was it? There was something else I was going to ask you about. Oh, I know what it was. Do you know what it was? Because I'm sure it's everywhere now. The rumors fly because girls want to know. Like, are you single? Yes, I'm single. Are you, are you thinking about somebody? Nah. 
Uh, have you ever thought about Selena Gomez kissing her face? What? You ever thought about kissing Selena Gomez's face? Come nah, on. Nah, she's cool. We're friends. Um, she's really cool. I've heard you guys aren't dating, but that's like the thing. Every, all the girls are brokenhearted today. They were calling the show because they knew you were coming up, and they were like, really? just find out if he's like taken. <laughs> they sound so depressed. It's ridiculous. No, nah, I'm, I'm 100% single. Do, uh, do girls come up and like cry when they see you now? Yeah, sometimes. It's pretty funny. Do you, really? Do you, you don't feel bad? I'll just give them a hug and, and say I love them. Because you, you made their whole life. Yeah, they're, they're the best. That's a fantastic situation. Um, and uh, who, if you were going to, let's say, there's a, there's a dream girl. Everybody has a celebrity crush. Scarlett Johansson might come into play with me. Yeah. Shout out to my fiance. Um, <laughs> who, uh, who's like your celeb crush? Rihanna. 100%? I love Rihanna. Do you think, uh, if I set up a date, where would you like to take her in New York? Um, I don't know. What's a good date spot in New York? That's a good restaurant. Well, and for Rihanna, you got to think of the girl. Statue of Liberty. I'll take it to the top of Statue of Liberty. Top of the Statue of Liberty, Rihanna. Yeah. You and Austin Mahone, just yes. that'd be fantastic. All right, I'm gonna set. I really will okay. try to set that up. All you right, would go, go if I do that? Yes. God, brave man. All right. Uh, do you think you'd stop being single at that point? Settle down. Probably. Retire? Yeah, I might retire. Right, no, we don't kidding. want any of that, dude. Just kidding. All right. Well, Umye is the one you're going to want to check out. You can go see Austin online anytime. He's on Twitter, Facebook, yes. Instagram. Get it on iTunes, please. What's the best way to find you on, on social media? Uh, Twitter, at Austin Mahone. Instagram, Facebook. But you check Vine. Twitter first. You hit that app first. At Austin Mahone. Vine. Nobody vines, Rosie. Don't fall for that. He's lying to you. He says Vine because it was on his phone when he bought it. No. All right. <laughs> Austin, uh, and one last question. Super Bowl, who are you rooting for? Broncos. Yeah, exactly. Go Peyton. <laughs> Comeback story. It's going to be awesome. All right, Austin Mahone and 92.3.